Close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. Notice where you feel the breathing and let it be comfortable. If the body's feeling tired, breathe in a way that gives you more energy. If it's feeling tense, try to breathe in a way that's more relaxed. Think of the breath as medicine for the body. After all, it's what keeps the body alive. It's why you have a sense of the body to begin with. So allow it to do its work on providing energy for the parts of the body that seem to be lacking energy, good energy where the energy is bad. And this helps you to solve a lot of the problems right there in the body, and also helps you solve the problems in the mind. Because the mind is wandering around. The, the big problem in life is the fact that the mind keeps causing su suffering and stress for itself. And yet we get distracted by other problems. We decide we don't have enough money. We decide that people don't like us, don't respect us. That's a problem. Or the problem is that we don't have the status at work that we'd like to have, or that we don't have the pleasures in life that we'd like. Well, these are all what the Buddha called worldly dharmas. You know, those things that belong to the world. They're not really ours to begin with, and they're not the real problem. If the mind hasn't learned how to put aside its habits that cause itself suffering stress, you can get all the money and fame and fortune and praise that you'd like, and you still wouldn't be happy. On the other side, if your mind is well trained, so that it doesn't have to cause itself suffering, then you won't cause yourself any suffering over lack of money, lack of status, lack of praise, pain. So focus on the big problem, the one that's right here in the mind. Whatever comes in, we have a habit from turning it into some cause for stress and suffering, either because it's what we we want more of it or we don't want it or something along those lines. But if you learn how to feed your pleasures or your sense of well-being not on things outside, but on the skills that you can develop within, okay, then the things outside don't cause that much trouble. And the skills you've developed within, you're, you've seen where you cause yourself unnecessary stress and suffering to learn how to stop. That's an important skill. That's the big problem. And the solution to that problem is the big solution in life. So try to keep your priorities straight. It's this, what's coming out of the mind, not what's coming in at you. It's what's coming out of the mind that's the big problem. But it's something you can change. You can train the mind through virtue, you can train it through concentration, you can train it through discernment. So that you're not causing any trouble. And when you're not causing the mind any trouble, that's it. The other things in the, the rest of the world are not really problems at all. If you have energy, you can help, but the big problem has been taken care of. So try to focus as much attention as you can on this problem right here. It's not what other people are doing or things happening outside. It's what the mind is doing to itself. That's the big problem. That's what the Buddhist teachings are all about, is to focus on that problem and to learn how to solve it. And that takes care of all the other problems you could think of. So keep your attention focused on this big problem. Learn how to not get distracted, because one of the reasons we get distracted is because everything seems to be a problem. Everything is a 10 on our stress, li stress list. But you've got to figure out, okay, even though it's a 10 on your stress list, it may not be the big problem. The, the big problem is right here. Learn how to focus your attention here, not get distracted by other things, you find that this problem can be solved. <laughs>